We're here today at Place UK, just outside of Norwich in Norfolk, and we're looking at Project Insight. So the aim of the robot is to scout in strawberry crops. We are looking to do yield estimation. So we're taking in lots of images as the robot is moving up and down through the tunnels. So our robot Insight will work 24 seven, travel fully autonomously, um, and will actually using a 3D camera, AI, and through trained models, will detect different classes of strawberry from flower to fully ripe inside polytunnels, which have very narrow rows, which can be GPS limited. We can collect both accurate and higher scale of data. The grower then can then see exactly how much fruit they have. And it means you can also get a picture of how that crop is maturing and through doing so, will eliminate waste and increase grower returns. So everyone struggles with accurate prediction of yield and availability of fruit. This is really important for the supply chain. We need Project Inside to help us plan ahead how many workers we are required to harvest our crops and giving us a more accurate and precise data and give the supermarkets indication about the production we are expecting so it can fulfill their demand. The scouting robot collects three types of raw data the number of the strawberries, ripeness level, and the size of strawberries. They're able to identify how many um, strawberries are ready to be picked, how many strawberries are growing at different stages of the strawberries' growth. So we're having an accurate picture of when those berries will be ripe for harvest. The strawberries are very highly perishable products. If they are not being picked in time, it will get rotten. Until now, all this work had to be done manually and people had to be trained uh, for a long period of time and we always run the risk of a human error. We are hoping that it's going to go hand in hand with our skillful worker and I help them to be more efficient and simplify their work. So we are really wanting to utilize the latest technology, for example, autonomous robotics and AI, and really bring a, a new way of solving that problem for the growers. Plus, whilst doing that, reducing their need for labor um, and also lowering their operational costs. Also going to talk to the farmers and to understand their experience and the feedback. This will help us to improve the robots for the future applications. So as AgriEpi, we are an enabler of tech solutions. AgriEpi Centre are project managers. As Lead and Tabot are developing their technology with the robot and Project Insight. Then we have Place UK, obviously, where we need to do a test and trial location. University of Bedfordshire, University of Essex are also partners on this project and working together to look at how we can model that data that's been collected by the robot. From the university, we actually look into the data collected by the scouting robots like the size of the strawberries, how many strawberries, at which coordinates they are there, and later on to also use this data to improve the efficiency of the supply chain. And the data collected by the uh, scouting robot has huge potential to improve the farm operations and yield production, pricing, sales, logistics, and uh, even reduce the carbon emissions. We've seen a real problem with access to labor in the UK it's really crucial for the industry to develop solutions that are really both affordable and adoptable. The more information that we can capture by using technology, we can make better decisions, which will make us more sustainable for long-term future. The next steps after this project finishes is to use this information and use the validation of the actual harvest data that's coming from Place UK. We can implement the same type of modeling which we have done for this in other industries as well, like raspberries, Apple Industries. And there's a whole host of other crop sectors that will be crying out for similar information. And we have higher quality products for everybody to stay healthy. We're planning to run a bigger scale trials and use the information to make more efficient plants next year. And working with more growers um, to solve this key challenge. So watch this space for updates. We're really excited to see the outputs. <laughs>